for your viewing pleasure. Previously in this series. This is, it's a huge box. This is insane. They're synced really well though, I mean, it's crazy, like. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I just bought the cheapest electric unicycle on Amazon. That's what I'm holding. This is, it's in the box. $700 for this bad boy. There's a King Song 14D. That's right, 700 bucks for this bad boy. There were actually two for $700. That was the cheapest one was $700 and there were two of them. There's like a nine bot something that was like a 500 watt motor. This has an 800 watt motor for the same price. And I believe it was a bigger battery in this thing too. So specs are just better on this for the same price. The next best one was like $900. And then the next best one after that was like $1,900. So cheapest one was $700. I thought there would be a like a cheaper one than that, but nope. This is the King Song 14D, and I'm excited to try it out, dude. I've never tried electric unicycle. I am ready for this. I am not gonna crash this. All right, so I think we should just take it on over the garage and get this thing unboxed. Let's do it. Now I'm looking at this thing. I'm mildly sketched out by riding it, but it'll be fun, right? It looks pretty cool though. This is gonna be a learning experience right here. This is gonna be fun. It just rolls everywhere, check that out. Okay, looks like you have to connect the King Song app before the wheel unlocks itself. But check this out. Is it on? There's no lights anywhere. And it's not working. Wait. Something's, something's happening. All right, I'm gonna let this charge up. I'm gonna get the app downloaded. And I'll catch you guys when I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna head over to a park real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna see if I can't learn how to do this thing. Owner's manual, just in case I need to know something. Oh, that that thing definitely rolls on its own, doesn't it? Yeah, nothing to it. Nothing to it. I'm not scared at all. Most people dream of days like this. I'm living it. I'm living it. I'm just gonna do this first try. There's really nothing to it. I'm just gonna do it. Easy. I'm gonna just open these up here. Nothing to this, dude. Oh, there we go. Look at that, it's on. So easy. Check it. All right, all I have to do is kind of just get on and go, right? I don't know what center of gravity I should have here. This is all unknown. You know, I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. I think I'm in a hole, but I think I'll be okay. There's really nothing to this. Oh yeah, oh, I'm getting the feel of that. That's super easy. Oh wow, okay. We won't even count that. This is my actual first try here. Oh frick. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy, all day. Oh, <laughs> nothing to it. We're good. I do feel like we should not have a bunch of potholes around though. I think I just need to go a little faster this time. This out of the ditch here. Oh frick. I need to get my balance right. Every time I step down on it, I push it like that. Just like I'm commuting to school. No big deal. Just commuting to school on my unicycle here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, all day, all day. Oh, freak. People telling me to wear gear and stuff. Like, why would I need gear? Why would I need gear for this? It's super easy though. Like, look at that. Not even move my leg. I, it's definitely smoother over here. I'm gonna use this area here. I wonder if I can go backwards too. Oh shoot, I should probably master going forwards first. Oh, this is easy. Okay, I think there's just a rhythm to it. You just gotta keep jumping on it and just keep going and you'll get used to it. Your brain will click into unicycle mode and it'll be just super easy. Oh yeah. Oh, you just gotta get used to it. Oh shoot, okay, here we go. Here we go, turn, turn to the right. All right, I think I'm just gonna bring you guys back when I have uh, mastered it. I'm already pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna bring you guys back when I'm actually you know, like mastered it, like really good at it, like doing kickflips and stuff. All right, I set it way the heck out there because it started like clicking and clunking around and then just made a beep and then it stopped. I don't know if it's gonna blow up. I don't know what's gonna happen, but here we are. This is the current situation. I'm getting good at it though. I'm almost mastered it. I did one kickflip, but that was pretty much it. I'm gonna go diagnose. I'm gonna see, what's, see what the matter is. I'm gonna try to turn it back on, see what it does.
All right, well, it's completely dead, completely dead. It had a full battery when I started this thing. It had a full battery while I was riding it. Yeah, so that's the situation. I'm gonna take a look at the owner's manual, see what it says. If it clunks and makes a bad noise and stops. Let's see if we can find some troubleshooting for that here. They did include some extra fuses, so it probably just blew a fuse. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take it home, dude. All right, I got it home and it charges fine. Still doesn't turn on. I'm really suspecting it's a blown fuse. They do include two 30 amp fuses with it. It's charging, but it's also not turning back on either. If I disconnect that, still doesn't turn on. You know what I'm starting to think? Is that there's actually a part missing for, there is no fuse holder there. The fuse is wrong. I mean, you can't insert it. There's four, there's four vertical little slots and then this one goes in like this. There's no way it can go in. And if it did click in, it would be way in there, which I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be sticking out here, you know, able to be pinched and pulled out. And uh, I think there is a part missing. Now, is that on me or is that on the manufacturer? Because that is a pretty absurd thing to go wrong. I can't find anything else wrong with it. So I think it probably just overvolted, didn't have a fuse there to protect it, and probably fried something in there. That's kind of ridiculous. Dang, man, I really wanted to learn how to ride this thing. Just coming straight out of the box like this. It's supposed to look like this. The fuse is sticking out so you can kind of pinch it and whatnot, but there's no way that would be the same case. The, the fuse would actually sit in there. You guys might not be able to see it, but that's probably a solid centimeter behind there. So I think there is something missing that was supposed to hold the fuse and it's just not plugged in and there's no fuse. So there's clearly a manufacturer defect here or a returned item that somebody messed up and just sent on their merry way. And also just for the record, I read every single word in this owner's manual, which is very simple and not one place says anything about a fuse. There's not even, there is one time fuse is mentioned and that is literally only to tell you that there is a fuse port here. There you go port slash fuse. That is the only time this booklet says fuse in it. There's no other mention of fuse. You have to insert a fuse. There has to be a fuse, nothing. Doesn't talk about blown fuses. So I'm gonna call that a manufacturer defect right there or just a returned product that they reshipped out to me, which was defective. All right, well, there you have it. That's what I get for buying the cheapest thing on Amazon. Just like the cheapest e-bike off of Amazon that came also with a manufacturer quality control issue. This followed suit and is the cheapest electric unicycle on Amazon and it did not disappoint <laughs> because it broke. And it looks like there's something missing straight from the factory. I honestly am really disappointed because I did want, I was actually getting pretty good. Like off camera, I gave it like three passes or something. I was actually getting pretty good on it. And uh, then I set it down like gently. It wasn't like, it was literally nothing crazy. I got on it, went like a couple feet and then just like stopped at like two miles per hour and it just broke. It looked like it was fine, but then the wheel started like clunking back and forth and it stopped and then it never turned back on and I can't get it turned back on. So I did start the return while well, I requested. You can't return it because it's not Amazon Prime. You can't just ship it back. Um, so I requested a return. I also messaged the seller, told them what happened, what went wrong, what seemed to go wrong. I, I don't really know at this point. Probably, probably just overloaded the motherboard or something and blew a circuit. Who even knows? I will 100% keep you guys updated on that. I'm definitely gonna be getting another one because that was actually really fun, just the small little experience I had with it. That was really fun. I wish it lasted longer than 10 minutes, <laughs> but it was fun while it lasted. So I'll keep you guys, I mean, I'll do another video when I get a new one and I actually get to test it out you know, when it has a fuse in it. So stay tuned, there is more coming on this one. I'm really disappointed this isn't a full video. I was expecting it, fully expecting it, to be a full video, testing it, testing the battery life, testing its speed, doing like all the fun things you do on electric unicycles, but no. Here we are. So for sake of time, I'm gonna end the video here and, and when I get the new one, then I'll do a follow-up video. Wish it didn't break, but it did. So just buyer beware. There is a link in the description if you wanna check it out. But I do know that this unicycle is actually a pretty decent one. There are forums and stuff with the 14D, King Song 14D. Um, and so it must be a pretty decent unicycle. I just got a bum one. I don't know if this was a return from Amazon or if it was just a defect from factory. I will have to see what the seller says, but I guess that's just how it goes. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.